what happened today and why is it relevant? Well, despite the fact that he's only been in office for about four or five weeks, this is the defining moment of Boris Johnson's entire political career. He is essentially blocking Remainer MPs from using parliamentary procedure to either delay or stop Brexit. And he is using the process known as proroguing or suspending Parliament to clear the constitutional constipation that the House of Commons has been indulging itself in for the last 12 months. And he, so the Queen approving this doesn't necessarily mean she agrees with a no-deal Brexit. That's correct. We we haven't had much participation from the monarchy yes. in, in, in political decisions since yeah. I think George III showed a lot of intransigence, <laughs> thus losing one of our more attractive colonies. Right, right, right. Yeah. Will it have any effect on this side of the pond? Will we see any sort of economic impact from it? Could it affect our markets or is this strictly a European thing. Well, I, I, I still think that the United States, although of course you're the biggest, the strongest economy in the world, you still have to trade. And yes, inevitably there will be a different trading relationship with the United Kingdom, but I think actually a stronger one. I think it can only be good news for the United States economy. All right, and so Brexit, in your opinion, is good or bad for the UK, deal or no deal? Was Brexit a good idea? I think Brexit was a good idea. I think that we had to show our potential in the rest of the world rather than being a, a subsidiary of Europe. And I actually think that we'll, we'll see many other countries over the next 10 or 15 years attempting their version of Brexit. And we may actually see the collapse of the European Union. There will be a European Union in the future, but it will be a trading partnership, not a political one.